hi guys this is Paul Shedin and today I'm going to show you the fourth part of the tutorial called how to maintain daily expenses in MX Excel and for those who did watch my previous tutorial I suggest you to watch that tutorial so that you may understand this one easily it's time consuming so I have added few data here for 2017 and for 2018 and now I'd like to generate a report with this data okay what people do is to just insert a column for generate report and just they make a sum for the January S U M and does so and type here total total and this is how people usually generate reports for their purpose but this is not the right thing excel is more advanced and give you a easy way to generate a report in all the circumstances so and this process is called pivot table as I have data here this is what is I have three data for January 1st January and sometimes people do is to just merge this data and generate a report for this January and pivot table doesn't like this pivot table works as a database and pivot table also doesn't like empty cells or columns so first i have to delete this empty cells or column and this is my title and i'd like to have a design for this table first and then i'll create a pivot table with this data okay but first make it a little bit more beautiful select title and make it bold bold and align it in center and then select all these item you can select empty cells to below data and then all you can do is to just select all borders and all border will be added but i'd like to show you how to add the border you'd like to apply okay so go more border and change the color automatic to a little bit transparent and then select the border and press ok it's not visible because i have default previous border of my sheet and i want to get rid of this so just go page layout tab and grid lines uncheck the view and you see more beautiful and now I'd like to create a pivot table with this data and the best practice is to select the data this way okay because uh, later on uh, it may be required to add more data and if I select this data like this like this and make a pivot table then I have to change data source later on when new data will be added so the best practice is to select all the data this way and then go to insert and select pivot table option here and it shows a dialog box called select table or range it is automatically has been selected you see so just press ok and a new sheet has been added and I'd like to rename the sheet report detail here I have all the items of my details and now it is up to you how would you like to see the report okay so this is the filter this is row this is column and this is value so I'd like to have my year on filter month also in filter and then date in the row 
and outer number should be in the row and here you see it has automatically been added year and quarters I don't like this I'd like to remove all this I would like to make my own data okay and then category then source and if you like to add details you can like details okay I'd like to details add details okay and then the amount should be on the value field okay and amount it is done but you see I have to do some more work with this because this is not arranged properly so just click on the pivot table and select design and here in blank rows select remove blank line after each items and then show in tabular form and then only for rows and column and then do not show subtotal okay i think it is done the report has been generated and i have to make some design for this and here it says sum of expenses amount i don't on this I would like to change it so just it will be amount press ok and it is done and I'd like to insert a blank column and insert a blank row and now I'd like to change the design here too and to do so I have to select the table and design and I always prefer this design you can change you can like any design you'd like to select to okay uh, but i like this one okay now i'd like to have my font change to arial and the size would be nine and it looks like and here it has already been created a group for this table but I'd like to I have months here so I don't like to see this months I'd like to see date so click here and click ungroup and now it is done and so this is the report and I'd like to get rid of this line so similarly go to page layout and uncheck view and I would also like to change the date value selecting this one okay I think it is done whenever I drag my cursor header is not showing so just select this cell and go to view split and get rid of this vertical line and change it to free span and now if I uh, uh, scroll down my report uh, title is still displaying and here I'd like to name this data or this table this is details, detail report of expenses and make the board and make it large font and now I think it is done and I'd like to get rid, rid of this pivot table field option so just click here and it will not come back again and now uh, I don't understand what is the total expenses of 1st January, 2nd January, 3rd January and so and so so just select any uh, date column say right click of the your mouse and select subtotal date and now it is showing me the total uh, of the expenses daily in the first January the expense of 5600 5, and this is on and on and I think uh, this is done but sometimes you have to make it looks like more dynamic and that is why uh, I'd like to suggest you to show the total here so type here amount amount and then 
equal sign and click total grand total and it is done and align is right and there here just make it make it bold and change the color with I like this and change the text color white and and I think it is done but I'd like to have uh, amount symbol here select the cell and right click on your mouse and go to format cell and here you should find special no not special currency and here I'd like to select Bangladeshi amount symbol and it will be BDT yes I have found BDT and decimal place 2 it's ok and now it is done I think and this is the report if you like to see only 2018 you can see what was the expenses of 2018 and for 2017 you can see the expenses of 2017 and the month if you select January of 2017 you can see the expenses of January and 2017 and for 2018 you can see the data of 2018 and if you add more data here it will be automatically update if you click if you select your table and click right of your mouse and just refresh the table and it will automatically update your data and let me show you that okay so i have here a data and i'd like to add this one and change the value with 500 and then here i have data of January 2017 and if I refresh it refresh and you see data has been added here and this is the easiest way to have your report for your office and you can have your pivot table in different ways suppose if your boss asking you give me the additional expenses of all the years what will you do just don't hesitate select the table and create another pivot table and now similarly we are in the filter mark in the filter you can have date in the filter and category in the filter and then you can have your source in the filter not source in the filter source in the rows and then your amount and similarly let's change the design and select office expense here and select the year 2017 the office expenses will be showing here if you would like to show the months here just drag your months here and you see the month and if you bring your category below you can bring your category below and here you can also select your office expense and you can select your additional expenses and you can also show this TV table in horizontal mode like like keep the month on month on column and you can see this is another way to show your pivot table okay just change the category and you can see just change the 
category of transport and you see general heavy market and all the expenses of the transport and if you change the year you can change the year and if you want to see the certain date you can see the certain date and this is how there is no data here so it is not showing and this is how you can generate a report to your client or your boss in any time using a pivot table and this is the easiest way so i think you have learned something if, if you have any question you can ask me and it will be my pleasure to answer you and please do subscribe my channel and thanks for watching bye